Hi everyone, my name is Celeste. I am the homeschooling mom to three boys. And in this video, I'm gonna show a look inside the God's Design for Science human body curriculum. This was a requested video. A couple months ago, I did a look inside the God's Design for Chemistry and Ecology curriculum that we are currently using this year, and it was requested to take a look inside the anatomy course. We did this last year when our boys were in sixth and fourth grade. This is the third book in a three book kind of course. Um, it's the God's Design for Life course by Answers in Genesis. The first book is The World of Animals. The second book is The World of Plants. And this human body book is the third book in the course, in the series. Astrobooks also has an addition of this specific curriculum where they have grouped all three books into one book, kind of one full course. So I'll be sure to link that down below in case you're interested in having it kind of all together in a course instead of an individual book. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you a look inside. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a look inside the student text, also the additional worksheets and quizzes that come along as a free download, and then finally a look inside the teacher supplement. Okay, so this is a look inside the human body student text. When you open it up, the first thing you see is that it says that there are downloadable resources available to you um, included with the purchase of this curriculum. So you're able to go to the godsdesign.com slash life and you can download um, these files. The great thing about it is that once you, you download it once, you're able to keep it and make the copies that you need. So I'll be showing you a look inside those worksheets and quizzes that come as a free download. All right, so there are six units in this particular course. Um, I'm gonna just quickly go over the units. The first one is a body overview, which includes the creation of life, the overview of the human body, cells, tissues, organs. Unit two is bones and muscles. It's an overview of the skeletal and muscular systems. Unit three is nerves and senses, the nervous system, the brain, reflexes the eye, the ear, these um, sense organs. Unit four is digestion, goes over the digestive system, teeth, dental health, nutrition, vitamins, minerals. Unit five is heart and lungs, reviews the circulatory system, the heart, the blood, respiratory system, the lungs. And finally, unit six is skin and immunity. And that includes an overview of the skin, um, fingerprints, the immune system, genetics. And then there is a final project as well, which I'll show you and, and talk a little bit about. So in the beginning of each one of the God's Design books, it explains that this is geared towards third through eighth graders. And it shows you how you can kind of tailor it to your children. So we used this last year when my older two sons were in sixth grade and fourth grade. So my younger son would do these activities and then my oldest would do the additional challenge activities. So for third to fifth grade, it says you'll read the lesson, you'll do the activities that are in the blue box. I have this little icon. Then the little brain, what did we learn questions. We actually always like to do these kind of orally and just talk through them as a discussion. And then there is a taking further questions with the little rocket here. For sixth and eighth grade, you will do all of those three, same as these, but then there's an additional challenge section that has that little ribbon there that your older students can take and do, which is what's nice that you're able to use this one curriculum, different levels of learning and different grades. Okay, so unit one, the very first lesson is the creation of life. It's a quick overview of how, you know, the, be the beginning, the creation of life. And then here you can see those icons that I mentioned. So what did we learn? Taking it further. The self-portrait. So it's like an activity that, that they do. And then here's that additional activity for the older children. I actually had both of my boys do this. It was very interesting because it was asking them to try to list the 11 recognized systems in the human body and that they would be studying eight of those systems. So it's great because they've allowed us to see kind of upfront the information that they had. And then at the end of the year, we went back to this list and we really were able to see all that they had learned. It's great to have that as a starting point. So as you go through, this is lesson two. It'll show you when you need a worksheet, um, body wheel, which again, I'll be showing you 
those worksheets. And then one thing that's nice is that you'll notice there are several special features, um, usually one per unit of a person, right? A scientist, somebody who was influential in this area. So that's an additional reading piece that you can decide whether you want to review with your students or do something with that as well. So again, this is just kind of a look. The lessons are pretty short. If you look just pretty much one, two pages, and then the questions and activities. So it does not take long to do, but we thoroughly enjoyed, thoroughly enjoyed this, this curriculum. It was very gentle in the approach, but I feel like they were able to learn a lot, which is so great. So again, continues on that kind of same setup. There are words to know, challenge questions. I just kind of want to take you to the back of the course. So after they finish the entire course, there is a body poster final project. This was so fun. So what they basically, what they did is, and I'll try to insert a picture, of their final posters, they kind of laid on the floor, they we traced them on a huge piece of poster board, and then they made a full size drawing of their body system. So they were able to include skeletal, muscular, nervous system, make flaps to show the lungs and the heart. So it was a really, really great project. And it was wonderful to see their mastery and understanding of the different systems. That was a great, the end of the course okay so here's a look inside the worksheets and the quizzes that are included as a free download again this is a free download I just printed this off and then I'll just show you kind of a look inside how some of these worksheets look so here is a body wheel so these first two sheets they kind of cut them out and then you put it together with kind of one of those pin pin brads and that they're able to then use as a wheel looking at the different systems and it also tells you what they do so as you're looking at one side the other side tells you the function of that particular body system a few other examples is just typical like worksheets they have also this little skeleton that they do use throughout um, the course pages are stuck <laughs> And then they have other little game type of things, coloring pages, really great digestive system, identifying sheets so that they label them. Um, again, there's so many. I'll try to show you just a few more. This is when we we're talking about the heart, blood types. This was really a fun lesson that we were able to look and talk about blood types and donors and how that all works. They also have word searches. So it's a nice variety of different types of activity pages. This is the DNA puzzle that they worked on. They cut all these out and really were able to understand how DNA works and how the strands go together and which pieces go with which. So that was really great. Um, so that is it pretty much for the worksheets. Now, again, there are unit quizzes and a final exam included. So at the end of every unit, there is a quiz. And I'll show you a look at that. So for example, here's quiz one for unit one, which is the first three lessons. And then there's always challenge questions as well that you can include depending if your child is older or if you want to use it as extra credit or if you can decide as a teacher how you would like to use those challenge questions. But there are, again, those challenge questions at the end of each one. So at the very end, there was a final exam. So again, be, even though this course, as I mentioned, is one of three parts of the God Design for Life, it's wonderful because you're able to use it independently. This book has its own final exam. It has its own final project. So you're able to really decide whether you want to use it as a uh, kind of a unit study as we did. We used it for one semester. Um, we're able to go through the entire course and that was really great. The last thing I wanted to show you was a look inside the teacher supplement. So this is what you will have as a teacher for the course. And it has an introduction that explains how to teach life science, how can you teach science, some just teaching points. They always include the creation versus evolution in the beginning of each of their courses, the seven C's. Again, this is standard in all of their courses right in the beginning. So um, here, for example, is unit one. So it has lesson one, tells you a supply list. It has the answers for the what did we learn sections as well as the taking further sections as well as the challenge. So it gives you just pretty much just an answer key to the questions. And then also included 
is the answer key for your quizzes. So that's pretty much the extent of this, pretty much an answer key. Now, I, I do like it because it does give you what you need. It gives you the answers, but I will say I would have liked to have the lessons as well so that I could kind of be reading along with my students, but um, they don't have the lessons for the teacher. You would have to either purchase an additional book or just kind of look along with your child um, if you're doing it together. I believe the master books version might be different. I think they do have the lessons for the teacher as well. But in this specific version, um, when it's individual, the individual books, they do not. All right, so at the very end, at the end of your answer key, they also have a resource guide for additional books or resources. You can include some field trip ideas as well as a master supply list. So I will say I didn't really use anything specific from here, but I did use additional resources. Um, one of the ones that used is the Kingfisher question and answer. They have different kind of encyclopedias and there are different pictures. Um, you can also get things in the library. So much that you can do. One thing also is <laughs> our boys really enjoyed some YouTube videos that had little songs that would talk about the different systems. So I'll try to link down the one about the brain, which is one of their favorites. So there's a lot that you can do to add to the course. So again, if you'd like to do this as a individual standalone course, not part of the three series, just like an anatomy course, you can take this and, and work it out that way. So we really enjoyed this course. All right, that is a look inside the human body curriculum by Answers in Genesis. If your family has a favorite science curriculum that you like, please be sure to comment down below. I pray that you and your family are well. I pray you are blessed. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to talking to you soon.